Victoria del Alcón. My cousin really wanted to upgrade to the room with the pyramid view for a hundred dollars a night. Five. <laughs> I work hard. Oh, what did I do? No, 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 like crazy hard for you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't. No, if I go for like vacation, I really you want to home. like all out. Because like, again, I only have a normal vacation like a, once a year. Okay. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm camera shy. Oh my god! Bug pangit to ha. Bug na na tamo ako. Yeah, this is a very big hallway here. Oh shit! Oh okay. shit! Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Turn on the lights. Oh my god, wait. Oh, wow. Let's see. Let's see. Where? Where's the view? There you go. That's a mermaid. Where? I oh, know. Sh you can't see it on the camera, but it's literally right there. Can you see it? It's literally right over there. Guys, we ended up eating at, I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Mogul House? Mogul? Mogul Room? It's an Indian restaurant at our hotel and the food is apparently like really really good so I can't wait to try it. I got some butter chicken and then he got some saffron rice so we're gonna share the rice and the bread and then they have this ice cream. It's like vanilla ice cream with pistachio. I don't know but I heard it's good so I want to try that because I've been craving ice I've been craving ice cream. It's really cute in here. It's like really like intimate. Crazy man. Like she's too. Oh my god. Was Caught. And even high school. I don't like that. So we're about to touch the pyramid. Can you see the two holes over there? Yes. The side of the pyramid. Uh -huh. The upper one is the original one, which dates back to the ancient time. But during the 7th century AD, when the Arabs invade Egypt, to be Islamic country. When the Arabs invade Egypt during the 7th century AD, they want to explore what's inside the pyramid and they saw it still have some treasures inside. So they make another hole and a shortcut leading inside the same corridor. We're going inside the pyramid. Oh my god! As you can see, we have to bend our backs. Oh. You too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll let you know. I can touch. And I have to go back with another one. Yeah, if you're claustrophobic, definitely don't do this. It's a very narrow space and a workout. If you don't give me this stuff, I'm not going to change just this. Customized cartouche. It's real gold. Was it James? James is free. I got my cartouche with my name written on it and um, Scatum, which is like the lucky beetle. This is the real and natural papyrus flesh that grows beside the banks of the river Nile. And this plant in ancient times was a sacred plant. First reason, the flower looks like sunbeams, which is a symbol of who Amun Ra, the sun god in ancient times. Second reason, you see when we cut the end of the stem, it has what? A uh, pyramid. That's pyramid shape, which is a symbol of eternity. Unfortunately, the green cover nowadays for us it's useless. But in ancient times they used it to make sandals, baskets, hats, mats, even small boats. This is the most important part to make the paper. This part, guys, is so easy to break. Right. Why there is a lot of water and sugar inside. To get the water out, we're gonna use the mallet. Then we have to use the rolling pin. You wanna do it? 
Yes. Good job, Ryan. Wow, look See now, the slide like became more flexible. Ah. You know, Ryan, in Egypt here, ladies use the rolling bin for what? Cooking. No, heating the husband. And oh. The oh, yeah. <laughs> the slides became more flexible and still have the sugar to get the sugar out. We'll leave it in the water. Six days. One vertical, one horizontal. Like weaving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do slices stick together? Stick together by the remaining of the sugar. There is paper in the human history. All kinds of colors. Everyone have the right to be mummified. But actually, not everyone have the cost mm -hmm. to be mummified. So the quality of the mummification was different from person to another according to how much you're gonna pay for the priest. Getting ready to go to the Egyptian Museum and Khan Khalil. Wait, I really hope that's the name. You know, the bazaar, the market. Um, but I just want to show you our view right now. So when you wake up, this is what our view looks like. Getting ready right now, so I shall see you later. Goodbye! Thank you. Thank you so much. Eating our breakfast. Gnarly. Really nice. So yeah. Just gonna go eat. We really have like the honeycomb. Look how cute this ketchup is. We're gonna get our PCR test at 7. Mm -hmm. I think someone's gonna come to the hotel. It was around $90. Quite expensive. Basically, our last day here. Well, I guess we have another day tomorrow, like half a day. Because our flight to Amman um, got delayed. So our flight there got delayed. Flight back delayed. I guess it's a good thing. It was raining there. So we wouldn't have done anything, anyways. Oh, the tell on the side. Yes. I think I want to do Erna. Oh, you do? I want to. My subscribers know. <laughs> huh? My subscribers. What subscribers? My viewers know. <laughs> oh. You see now. That you want to earn up. Oh. <laughs> they don't know. We call this the Coptic area. How did they put the new ones? During the restoration. Did they take out the floor? Yeah, the floor. The floor. The floor. We have no source of this water until now. which is Mecca and Saudi Arabia. Here on the two corners of the ceiling, can you see the two medallions over there? Yes. yes. Yeah, it have what the Muslim believe. No God but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. I'm in heaven right now. If you're a history lover, Egyptian museum. Oh my goodness. Goosebumps. Until Howard Carter and Lord Carnarvon found it in 1922. We're about to walk in the Tutankhamen, King Tut's shrine, his sarcophagi, sarcophagus. We can't take pictures or videos inside, so I'll let you know how it is. We would place those jars in here for protection. 
this papyrus is. This is the longest one they've ever found. That's crazy. Look at the hair. Can you see that? Last day in Egypt. Breakfast with a view. Once again, I'm gonna miss this view. We've had really nice hotels. Expensive, but nice. Yeah. Last breakfast here. Uh.